Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will be talking about uh, lines and their intersection. Uh, so uh, I think this is an important topic for 3D geometry and sometimes people just do not remember the formulas and tricks to solve these problems. So I will be basically talking about first I will just give you some theoretical background on understanding this topic and then we will do solve some problems which hopefully would be uh, helpful for you in understanding this topic. So let us imagine that there are two lines uh, in 3D, so two lines in 3D. So when I did uh, two lines in two dimensional they were either intersecting or parallel but in 3D there are more types of lines. So in 3D if the lines are in same plane so let us say these two lines they are in same plane so they would either be intersecting or they would either be parallel. But however there could also be a case when the lines are not in the same plane for instance in this case in which the two lines are basically will never intersect with each other but they are also not parallel and those are called skew lines. In reality most lines would be skewed because they would not be in the same plane. So in 3D most lines would be skewed uh, or like this right. So they will never intersect and they are not even parallel. However if the lines are in the same plane they will either be intersecting or they will either be parallel. So let us say if we, have been, if we have been given two lines how would we know that they are in the same plane. So let us say there are two lines I mean if I am showing them like this they need not cross for instance you can understand that if there are two lines like this and if I if I put pens like this here it does not mean that they have to cross I am just projecting them on this board so that is why you are uh, you will see that they will think that they are crossing but they need not cross they need not intersect. So let us say there is a point A1 with coordinates A1 vector or position vector A2 with coordinates A2 vector and then this there is a parallel vector to this line B2 vector and then there is a parallel vector to this line L. So this is L1, this is L2. Now for them to lie in the same plane, for the lines to lie in the same plane, uh, they either have to be intersecting or they either have to be parallel. However, can we somehow, uh, uh, somehow in some way we can, can we find uh, a condition for coplanarity? Can we find a condition for coplanarity? right. So how to find condition for coplanarity and for that like you should recall the chapter of vectors. For vectors the condition of coplanarity was that the scalar triple product is 0. So we have three, two, two vectors here already B1 and B2 and we have two points A1 and A2. So the third vector which we can calculate very easily is A1 A2 vector which is nothing but A2 vector minus A1 vector. So condition of coplanarity is A2 minus A1 vector, B1 vector, B2 vector and the scalar triple order of this vector should be equal to 0. So if this is 0 then these lines so basically this, this vector A2 minus A1, B1, B2 they will be coplanar and hence the lines are either intersecting or are either parallel. However, however if this is not equal to 0 then the lines are skewed. So something that I am not going into details of making you understand of how that is derived but maybe you can uh, remember that sort of as a rule that distance between shortest distance between two, two skew lines is A2 minus A1, B1, B2. If B1 cross B2 mod, okay, B1 cross B2 mod. So this is the shorter distance between two lines, two skew lines. So basically, if that numerator is zero, then the shortest there will be the distance between two skew lines will be zero, which means that the lines are not skewed because they are coplanar. So uh, let us do some problems and trying to understand this and how to. We will learn how to solve for the condition of coplanarity or in, so in some cases intersection because you can clearly see the lines are not parallel and then we will see one example of how to calculate shorter distance between two skew lines uh, and then we, I will basically also talk about shorter this shortest distance between two parallel lines. However, I will not be solving example because that is exactly the same as the finding 
a distance of a point from a line for which we have already done uh, example in the last video. But let me just start by first solving the question for condition for coplanarity. So the question says is that uh, question is okay so this is the problem which has been given to us so we have been given equation of two lines uh, and we have been asked to find the value of k for which the lines intersect so how will we solve this problem so this problem basically is asking you to take the scalar triple product of a2 minus a1 b1 b2 and equate it to 0 so uh, we have been two lines uh, and this is the value of line we have to find the value of k for which the lines intersect and the k comes here in this part and this part uh, so let us start solving by finding the value of a2 minus a1 and then b1 and b2. So a2 minus a1 would be 4i cap minus a cap, so it will be 3i cap minus j cap minus k k cap. Similarly, b1 vector would be 2i cap which is in the denominator, 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 3k by 2k cap and b2 vector is 5i cap plus 2j cap plus k cap here. Now you should very remember from the chapters of vectors that scalar triple product is nothing but writing the coefficients down 3 minus 1 minus k 2 3 3k by 2 and 5 2 1 and we have to equate this to 0. So if we open up the brackets this will become uh, 3 into 3 minus 3k minus 1 into 15k by 2 minus 2 minus k into minus 11 ok. So, and if you rearrange this we get the answer that this implies uh, 11k minus 9k which is 2k uh, minus 15 by 2k is minus uh, 11k by 2 uh, minus 11k by 2 is equal to minus 20 uh, is equal to minus 11 and check the answer this is what we will cut and this means that implies that k is equal to 2. So, this is what you will get when you solve the problem. So, k is equal to 2. So, the here this is z minus 2 and 3 k 3 ok. So, this will give you the condition for k equal to 2. So, we got the value of k as 2, but sometimes this is not the only part they are sometimes they ask you to find the point of intersection. So, if some whenever you get the condition for just finding the values of k for which the lines intersect you can just follow the approach that I have described here uh, and you can find the value of k or whatever they have been asking you or finding whether the lines intersect or not intersect or they are parallel or not parallel. However, if you have been asked to find the point of intersection the other approach you should do is to uh, basically use the value of uh, one of the another two equations use the equate that equal to lambda and write x y z as basically 5 lambda plus 4 for instance if I am using this as a lambda 5 lambda plus 4 2 lambda plus 1 and lambda. Now, this is a point on this line if this point also has to be on this line it has to satisfy this this equation right. So, what we can do is that we can then equate 5 lambda, so we can put this equation in this line. So it's 5 lambda 4 plus 4 by 2 is equal to 2 lambda plus 1 minus 2 by 3. Uh, and this means that this would be uh, 5 lambda plus 3 by 2 into 3 is equal to 2 into 2 lambda minus 1. And this will come out to be lambda equal to minus 1 ok. However, so we will get we have gotten our point, but we can. 
So if you have been asked to do this and if you get some equation for lambda, you should always verify and check whether that is actually also correct from these equating these two or not because if it is not correct then that means the lines do not intersect. So that is another way of checking the lines to be intersecting or not. So what we can do is we can check we can uh, write the we can equate these two also. So we have intersect we, we made sure that x and y are equal but we should also make y and z are equal. So what we will do is we will put this point here. So this put this point 2 plus lambda plus 1 minus 2 by 3 is equal to lambda minus k by 3 k by 2 right. So if you do that uh, and we, we know the value of lambda is minus 1. So if you do that it will become minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 by 3 is minus 1 minus k by 3 k by 2 and this will give you the answer of k is equal to 2 also. So you can see that we also arrived at the same using this thing but here we also got the coordinates of the point. So sometimes it is useful to follow this approach to get the answer. Sometimes it is useful to follow this approach where you will substitute the point from one line into another. and check whether lambda, lambda is satisfied for both equations. Okay, where lambda is satisfied for both equation. So I hope that this question basically have you understand. So if it is just asking you for this, always use this part because here you have to do more work. But sometimes this question will just ask you about the coordinate of the point then you can use this approach okay. And also sometimes there may be like this was still an easy problem to solve sometimes the determinant will be such that it will become a quadratic equation in which you should definitely follow this approach if the question is just about uh, finding whether the lines intersect or not. Whenever you have to find the point of intersection you should use this. Now before I go I should just want to point out that in this case a2 minus a1 dot b1 cross b2 was substituted to be 0. There might be cases where this does not come out to be 0 in which you can just use the formula directly. I do not want to like uh, go through like doing this math work but please try to do like a problem where you can try to uh, calculate the value for this in case of two lines which do not intersect. It is very easy to do this a2 minus a1 b1 b2 is just exactly this and then for b1 cross b2 you will have to do another determinant and then take a mod to get the answer. Now. Before I leave I also want to talk about this problem of two parallel lines where you have a1 vector plus lambda b vector and a2 vector plus lambda b vector. So the b vector will be same for parallel lines. To do such problems and finding the perpendicular distance between these two lines it is very easy you can find the perpendicular distance of point a1 from the line a2. Okay, that is very easy to do so because we have discussed finding the perpendicular distance of a point from a line. So just take the point a1 and find the perpendicular distance with from the line uh, second line. So parallel lines case is very easy if you have been asked to find the perpendicular distance between the two lines. For skew lines you have to do more work however in this topic the most important thing is to remember the condition for coplanarity. So if we have done this problem then we also did the second approach where we found took the equation of the second line in terms of lambda. And then substituted that in the second line and made sure that the two equations satisfy both of the equations satisfy. Here we found out the value of k equal to 2 but sometimes we might just have to find the point and again ensure that the both all the conditions are satisfied and then, then only the lines will intersect okay. So I hope that this video was useful uh, and I'll, I hope to see you next time in the next video. Thank you.